Sarah had always been a curious child, often found with her nose buried in books about far-off places and fantastical creatures. She lived with her grandmother, a kind and wise woman who filled their home with warmth and stories of old. One rainy afternoon, while exploring the attic, Alara stumbled upon a dusty, old trunk tucked away in a corner. As she opened it, a shimmering light burst forth, revealing a hidden portal. Heart pounding with excitement, Alara stepped through the portal and found herself in a breathtaking world unlike any she had ever imagined. The sky was a deep indigo, dotted with millions of twinkling stars that seemed close enough to touch. Trees with leaves that glowed softly lined a cobblestone path leading to an enchanted forest. She knew instantly that she had entered the starry realm. As Alara wandered through the forest, she encountered her first new friend, Orion, a wise old owl with feathers that sparkled like the night sky. Orion greeted her warmly and offered to be her guide. Together, they ventured deeper into the forest, where they met Vesper, a playful fox with a coat of shimmering silver, and Lyric, a mischievous pixie who glowed with a soft, golden light. The trio quickly became friends and told Alara about the troubles plaguing their world. The balance of the starry realm had been disrupted by a dark force that threatened to extinguish the stars. Only someone with a pure heart and unwavering courage could restore the balance. Determined to help her new friends, Alara accepted the challenge without hesitation. Their first destination was the Enchanted Lake, a serene body of water that reflected the night sky perfectly. According to Orion, the lake held the key to unlocking the first piece of the ancient puzzle needed to restore the realm. As they approached, they noticed the water had lost its usual luster. Vesper, with his keen sense of smell, led them to a hidden cave behind a waterfall where the source of the problem lay. Inside the cave, they found a sorrowful water sprite named Nereida. Her tears were causing the lake's dimming, and Alara, with her kind heart, comforted Nereida. She listened to her story and promised to help. Together, they discovered that a precious crystal, stolen by the dark force, needed to be returned to its rightful place in the lake. Alara and her friends bravely ventured into the depths of the cave, retrieved the crystal, and restored the lake to its former glory. With the first piece of the puzzle in hand, Alara and her companions set off for the celestial mountains. These towering peaks were said to hold the second piece of the puzzle. The journey was arduous, filled with steep climbs and narrow ledges, but Alara's determination never wavered. Along the way, they encountered various creatures, some friendly and others not, but each interaction taught Alara valuable lessons about trust and resilience. At the summit, they found the guardian of the stars, a majestic griffin named Astra. Astra tested Alara's courage by putting her through a series of challenges that required quick thinking and bravery. Alara's unwavering spirit impressed Astra, who then revealed the second piece of the puzzle. With it, Alara felt one step closer to restoring the starry realm. Their next challenge led them to the Valley of Shadows, a place where the dark force was strongest. The valley was eerie, filled with shadowy figures and whispers that seemed to come from nowhere. It was here that Alara's courage was truly tested. She had to confront her deepest fears and find the strength within herself to continue. Orion, Vesper, and Lyric stayed close, offering support and encouragement. Together, they navigated the treacherous terrain and uncovered the source of the darkness, a powerful sorcerer named Noctis who sought to control the starry realm. Alara faced Noctis with a heart full of bravery, using the knowledge and strength she had gained from her journey to outsmart him. With the final piece of the puzzle in hand, she was ready to restore the balance. The final piece of the puzzle led them to the Starlit Temple, a magnificent structure that glowed with an ethereal light. 
Inside, they found ancient runes that needed to be deciphered to complete the restoration ritual. Galera, with her keen mind and the help of her friends, managed to unlock the secrets of the runes. As the final piece clicked into place, a brilliant light enveloped the temple, and the stars above shone brighter than ever before. The dark force dissipated, and the starry realm was restored to its former glory. Galera and her friends celebrated their victory, knowing that their bond and bravery had saved the realm. With the starry realm saved, it was time for Alara to return home. Her heart ached at the thought of leaving her new friends, but she knew she had to go back. Orion, Vesper, and Lyric promised to always be with her in spirit, and Alara felt a deep sense of gratitude for their friendship. As she stepped back through the portal, Alara found herself in her grandmother's attic once more. The adventure had come to an end, but the memories and lessons would stay with her forever. She knew that the starry realm would always be a part of her, a reminder of the courage and friendship that had guided her journey. As Alara settled back into her life, she couldn't shake the feeling that her adventure in the starry realm was not truly over. One evening, while looking through her grandmother's old books, she found a mysterious map hidden among the pages of an ancient tome. The map seemed to be incomplete, with sections missing and unfamiliar symbols scattered throughout. Alara's curiosity was piqued once more. She shared the discovery with her grandmother, who revealed that the map was a family heirloom passed down through generations. It was said to lead to hidden realms beyond the starry realm, places filled with untold wonders and secrets waiting to be uncovered. Determined to unravel the mysteries of the map, Alara decided to embark on another adventure. She packed her belongings, including the map, and prepared to set off. Her grandmother gave her a pendant that had been in the family for generations, telling her it would guide her when she needed it most. Alara felt a sense of excitement and anticipation as she stepped through the portal once more. This time, she found herself in a different part of the starry realm, a place she had not explored before. The sky was a vibrant mix of colors, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers. Alara's first destination was the land of luminous flowers, a breathtaking place where flowers glowed in the dark, lighting up the landscape like a field of stars. She was greeted by a gentle breeze and the soft hum of the flowers, which seemed to sing a melodic tune. As she walked through the fields, she met a new friend, a tiny firefly named Glimmer who spoke in a soft, tinkling voice. Glimmer offered to help Alara decipher the map. Together, they discovered that the first missing piece was hidden in the heart of the luminous flowers. They followed the clues and found an ancient tree with a hidden compartment containing a fragment of the map. With Glimmer's help, Alara carefully placed the fragment into the map, revealing more of the hidden realms. With the map partially completed, Alara and Glimmer set off for the next location, the Crystal Caverns. These caverns were known for their stunning crystal formations that glowed with an inner light. The caverns were vast and filled with intricate pathways, making it easy to get lost. Inside the caverns, Alara met another companion, a mole named Bramble who had an extraordinary sense of direction. Bramble led them through the labyrinthine tunnels, avoiding pitfalls and dangerous areas. Along the way, they encountered a colony of friendly bats that offered to guide them to the deepest part of the caverns where the next map fragment was hidden. After overcoming a series of challenges, including solving ancient riddles and navigating treacherous paths, Hilara and her friends found the fragment embedded in a crystal wall. With Bramble's help, they carefully extracted it and added it to the map. Their next destination was the Whispering Woods, a forest where the trees whispered secrets to those who could understand their language. The woods were filled with tall, ancient trees that seemed to watch over the travelers. 
Polaris pendant began to glow softly, 